We have eight reasons why Disney Cruise Line is a fantastic choice for an adults-only trip. And two that may not be so good. The first reason we think cruising as an adult with Disney is the food quality and choice. Disney has a very good selection of included options with, in terms of dining and eating on Disney Cruise Line. The food quality is fantastic. I've had some delicious things on Disney Cruise Line. On our last trip, we had these scallops with gluten-free pasta at Rapunzel's that like, I still remember how good that was. It was so yeah. delicious. And with the rotational dining, you get to have all kinds of different experiences and they even have included room service. So there's times when you just kind of want to be by yourself and, and not have to go to a restaurant, they have you covered. The included room service is 24 seven. So you can order whenever you want, whatever you want, and they will bring it to your room, which is included in the price of your cruise. As to other cruise lines, you may have a nominal charge for room service, but with Disney, it's included in the fare. And while it's maybe not anything you want, it is a pretty wide selection, and I've been really pleased with their room service options. Number two is the entertainment. It's Disney. So their shows and the productions, the plays that they put on, have really high production values. They are fantastic. Yes, they are great. I mean, you just, no other ship can hold a candle to what Disney can do on a ship. So hands down, best entertainment there is. Some of the shows are very unique. Of course, it's all Disney IP. Would it be a story about a unique, a unique take on Rapunzel's story or Aladdin's story, which is not quite in line with the movie, but it's a different take or the story's more focused on genie or more focused on the rug on things like that. You will get a real unique experience and fun experience by watching the shows on the Disney cruise ships. The third thing that makes Disney Cruise Line great for adults is the specialty dining. On Disney Cruise Line, all of the specialty dining is adults only. So right there you have a pleasant experience. There's no kids running around screaming, crying, etc. And the food is top notch. So on the first two ships, they have Paolo, which is an Italian restaurant that is just oh so delicious. We've gone there a number of times and <laughs> yes. they just keep feeding you and there's just it, the food is, is, food is delicious. Great. It's great. On the Dream and the Fantasy. They also have Remy, which is an even more elevated experience. We haven't done that one yet. And then on the Wish and Soon to Be Treasure, there are additional new specialty dining restaurants, but all of them have top quality food. Palo is for sure some of the best food I've ever had on a cruise ship. And it is, I mean, it might be one of the best restaurants I've ever been to. It's delicious and definitely worth checking out on your, on your cruise. Number four is the spa and rainforest rooms on Disney cruise ships. They are some of the most unique experiences that I've had where it's just elevated. On our last ship, ship, we had a couple's massage, which was very, very fun. The, it was accessible and I was able to get onto the table as a table lord, which is very, very, very good, unique. It was fun. It was transfer was pretty simple and straightforward. Yeah. Basically, just stand and pivot, and so this chair swivels, so you can um, uh, get in it fairly easily. It is very cushiony, so it's very soft. So, comfort-wise, it's good to go. I think it's good for you, or uh, well, good for me. Can't say for you, but hey, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna do a little bit of trim up and shave and see what happens. So I just got out of the spa again. And this time I got a facial, and that was very interesting. It was an Elemis Biotech facial, and it had so many steps. Um, I am a little bit of a dummy when it comes to face care and skin care and all kinds of other care. And so they walked me through every step and did all these things and gave me this list of things that I should do when I get home. Um, it was a really lovely experience. Um, experience. I think I may have 
falling asleep for a second there, but it was really relaxing. And so um, I am thrilled that I did that. It was uh, not something I typically do, but I really enjoyed it. Yeah, so I've gotten spa services on Disney and on other cruise lines. I would say these spa services are pretty comparable and in a lot of cases it's actually the same company running them. But what's unique on Disney is the rainforest room. So this is a separate priced experience and you get a pass, usually a you can do a one day pass on some sailings, other sailings, it's just the length of, of the trip pass and you are paying for access to hot tubs, the massage chairs, the loungers, the, with the heated loungers, heated the loungers. heated stone loungers. There oh, are good. these showers that have, you know, specialty showers with different scents and things. There's sauna and steam room. And so it's a really lovely experience. And on the fantasy, the hot tubs face the ocean. And so oh, yes. I, yes. I mean, basically I spent every sundown in the hot tub watching the sun go down. For, like you can't ask for more than that. Right. So it was such a great experience. And again, no children. <laughs> Speaking of no children, number five, we have the Cove Cafe. The Cove Cafe is a adults only area on the ship where the no children are allowed under 18. So it's a little quiet area. It has its own hot tub. It has its own small pool. And the Cove Cafe is a unique place where you can go where you can get specialty coffees, specialty snacks, and things like that. Yeah, so the Quiet Cove is the whole overall area. And there's, as Adam said, there's hot tubs, there's pools, or a pool. There's a coffee shop. There's a bar. All of that is within the Quiet Cove. And they, it is adults only, and they are pretty good about keeping it that way. We've been on a yes. lot of ships where there's an adults only area and you're constantly seeing kids in there. I, we did not have that problem on no. any of the Disney ships, and we use the Quiet Cove quite a bit, either for the coffee shop or for the loungers or what have you, and it's just lovely. They also don't play Disney music in those areas, which is a nice change up. I mean, we love Disney, but uh, it is nice to have some non Disneyness as well right. in those areas. Speaking of serene places, on Disney's private island, they have areas called Serenity Bay. They have Serenity Bay on both Castaway Key and on they will have a Serenity Bay on the new Disney Lookout Key at Lighthouse Point, which is the new island that they're opening. That's a mouthful. It is a mouthful. <laughs> and both of these have, it's a beach that is adults only. There are cabanas available that are adults only. There is a dining area that is adults only. Seeing the theme here, the whole area is adults only. Adults and only. so if you don't want to be around kids, you have a whole area to yourself. Number seven for you guys is the adult only entertainment. There are several locations, like some of the, they have clubs, or I would say bars, both, both that are adults only, where the theming is more upscale and adult oriented. So you don't have to really worry about, I guess, children running through the club or running through the area. Disney, again, is, is very good at making sure that they try to make the adults area only adults. Yeah, there are some areas of the ship that are always adults only, like certain bars, and then there are other parts of the ship that are adults only after 9 p.m. Between all of those things, Disney actually has more adults only areas than any other cruise line, which people are like, Disney, it's for kids. No, 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 it is not. There are plenty of adult only spaces on Disney cruise ships. And finally, the thing that we love about Disney Cruise Line is that it is an elevated experience. It's a premium cruise line, so it's more akin to Virgin Voyages or Celebrity, one of those lines. So yes, it is quite a bit more expensive than Norwegian and Royal Caribbean or the Value Line Carnival, but you're getting more for that price, and so that's, that's what you're paying for. Because Disney is a master at crowd control, you don't 
feel crowded on any of their ships and you don't feel overrun by kids on any of their ships. I mean, truthfully, we've done three cruises now and I'm not kidding you when I say that I barely noticed the kids were there. Right. Yes, you see them at dinner, but they're so enthralled in what's going on that they're not being obnoxious. And I mean, we love kids. Like, it's, yeah. and we're not anti-kids. I don't, and I want to make sure that that is clear, but sometimes you want to travel without them. Right. And it, it does, it is a different experience. And with Disney Cruise Line, because it is that premium level, you just are getting a higher level of service and you just, it, it feels very personalized and you just, you never feel crowded or rushed or you're not fighting children for elevators. Like there's just Things like that. none of that. Before we get to the two reasons why you may want to avoid Disney Cruise Lines, don't forget that you can reach out to Brooke at Vacation with the Magic and she will try to tailor an experience with Disney Cruise Line or any other Disney property so you can enjoy and experience all the uniqueness of Disney. Or any other cruise line. Or any other cruise line. There are two main reasons why Disney Cruise Line might not be for you. One of the main reasons why you may want to avoid Disney Cruise Line is it's Disney IP themed. It's everything Disney, everywhere is Disney, 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 Disney. That's one main one of the main reasons why you may not like it. Yeah, you do have to like either you know, Disney movies or Marvel or Star Wars or Pixar or one of the Disney IPs because it is, if Everywhere. you don't have, if you despise Disney and all of those things, probably not for you. The second reason that Disney might not be for you is if the casino is really important to you. There are no casinos on Disney Cruise Line and a lot of people like to use the casino and they play so much that they get, you know, bonuses credits and discounts and, and credits like and future cruises and things like that. Disney doesn't have that. And so if that's an important part of your cruise experience, then Disney Cruise Line might not be for you. But you don't have to be a full Disney adult necessarily. But if you have an appreciation for Disney and you're looking for a cruise line that is going to be an elevated experience and... Ha just have be a really great time, Disney Cruise Line can be a great one to consider. I still love my Royal Caribbean, but Disney is starting to overtake it little by little. Are you a fan of Disney Cruise Line? What are some of your favorite things to do 